Okay guys, so today I wanted to talk about how to fix an error with the new Google Play client. So I was watching Oren J and he mentioned the new Google Play client. It was in the news also, but it wasn't until he mentioned it that I saw how smoothly the game ran on the Google Play client. So I wanted to install it. Unfortunately, as soon as I downloaded it and I tried to run the installer for that, I came across this error right here. So I can't even read this right now. The computer doesn't meet the minimum requirements, blah, blah, blah. Apparently I don't have an SSD. Now my hard drive is like an SSD slash HD, something like that. Uh, it's, it doesn't really work that well, but I honestly don't see a reason why I need an SSD to run a, an Android game basically. So I kind of just looked online and I was able to find how to fix this. So I'm just gonna go through the steps that I went through. And basically what I did was I, go, I went here to the start menu, I right clicked on that icon and I went to system. And after system, I scroll down over here and I went to advanced system settings and then environmental variables. So once you're here, you wanna press new and you're gonna get this blank box here. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna cancel out of this because I already have it up here. Uh, edit is the same thing. So basically you're just gonna take this piece of, it's a variable name and you're just gonna paste it in here and then you're just gonna say true. So basically, I guess the installer checks your system specs to see if it's actually compatible. But apparently if you just create this variable and say true, it'll just think, it'll just look at this and say, oh yeah, we passed, okay, good. So once once you enable this, uh, you want to actually just press OK, OK, and then OK, or apply. And once you enable this, you're just going to be able to run that installer. And it's going to open up like normal. So I actually already went through the steps. I was thinking of just doing it from the beginning. But um, you should see my game right here in my library. So as I installed it, when I first um, tried it, it was telling me I needed to install Hyper-V or an enable Hyper-V. So that was a restart. I had to restart. I, you know, I pressed OK or continue or whatever it was. And it made me restart. It was kind of like the longest restart of my life. It took like five minutes. But after that, I was able to download the game. It literally didn't let me download the game. But now I was able to download it. And let me just run it here. Because I was able to run it and it actually ran extremely smoothly so once again shout out to rnj thank you for pointing this out because this is running extremely smoothly um i haven't really tried playing this game on blue stacks in forever just because i'm usually my blue stacks is usually tied to the other game i play uh king of fighters all stars so i kind of just never really try to run war of the visions i don't really know if it even runs that well on my computer but I did want to try the new version. There's a new version of Android. I just never, I think it's Android 11. I'm not really even sure what it was. But I never got to try that. Um, I did install it, but I think I didn't want to re-download another copy of the game and then have two copies of the game while I tested and whatnot. So I, I just never got around to it. But this solution is actually, seems like it's working pretty decently. So I'm really glad about that. Um, so, oops, wow, that's probably super loud. I apologize for that. Uh, so, sorry, so it might, it might be getting picked up by my mic and by the computer, so sorry about that. But, yeah, I, that, once you get to this, you just download the data for the game. It actually didn't even ask me to log in because I guess I'm already, uh, on the Google Play Store. And it just found my account. So it just, it's basically just like the normal game. I think RNJ did point out that you don't get ads or somebody in a stream pointed it out. But yeah, that's kind of been my problem with some other games that I've tried on the PC client where you just don't get the ads. Um, that kind of stops me from wanting to play on the PC client, but you can just watch your ads on the on the um 
on your phone or on BlueStacks. That's why I have a slight preference for BlueStacks because it's the original, it's the same exact version of the game. So yeah, it doesn't even have the video summons um, section there. It doesn't have the free energy here. So let's, I'm sorry, this volume is still kind of loud, so sorry about that. So let's go into the, into a mission. I ran a mission, so what I did, I just went into the Alcaris chamber, Alcaris chamber. And it's actually running pretty smoothly, so look how smoothly that menu scrolls. I'm not sure if my capture is going, is capturing that fully, but this is like 60 frames per second, or it could be 120, I don't know, it's just really smooth. So let's just go into the Alcaris chamber and just run one. Yeah, I was just doing the slime quest, so I have them set. And actually my game, I think my game crashed when I was doing the slime quest, so I didn't even get to finish it. But yeah, it's running super duper smoothly. And it's actually at 1.5. So I guess now the default is 1.5 speed. So that's actually pretty good. And this looks really, in terms of the animation, this looks pretty incredible. And especially me having like a really crappy old phone. I think maybe this is how I'm gonna try to play the game going forward. And I do have my blue stacks. Oh, I don't have my blue stacks running right now, actually, since I had to restart my computer. But yeah, it's actually running pretty smoothly. And I actually never got to never got blue stacks to work this smoothly i did get blue stacks to be stable but not smooth and this is like the smoothest i've ever seen well maybe i did get blue stacks running smoothly but not stable at the same time so yeah i just wanted to go and do like a normal summon just so you can see the smoothness on that as well actually let me do these summons I want to see if I could get it. One of the URs I'm missing. So nice little brown book there. So we can just watch this summon animation. It's super smooth. I hope that's coming through on the on the capture, but on my screen it's super smooth. And we don't even get an MR. So yeah, man, that looks super smooth. All right, yeah. Uh, I'm glad I just randomly decided to search for that answer because it worked. So I didn't need an, SSS, an SSD. And apparently there's other things that it checks for, like your processor and whatever. And apparently you might not even need like a super high-end processor. Because obviously we're all running stuff on our phones and, and our phones are like super old. So you might want to try this even if you think you might not be able to get it to work because your processor or your RAM or something like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys too, uh, as you can see, I'm dressed a little pretty heavily for being inside right now. Um, it's actually super cold here in Japan. I do have the heater going, but I just been getting headaches. Uh, so I just wanna wear a hat and just make sure I keep warm. Um, so yeah, we're in the middle of a blizzard right now, and I wanted to show you guys, let me see if I can mute this for a second. I wanted to show you guys my, my drive today. So yeah, apparently they don't, they don't plow here. So I'm driving on like snow basically. Yeah. I, I drive through basically farmlands and it's basically just all snow. If I didn't say basically enough. Um, the cool thing is that here, uh, the Japanese people are amazing. They, what they do instead of plowing is that everybody just gets winter tires and they're actually really good and provide some pretty good traction on snow. So you don't even have to worry about things getting plowed. I didn't even really have to shuffle today. I literally, I was just like, you know what? Apparently, even with all this crazy snowfall, school doesn't get closed. Uh, work doesn't get closed so I was like you know what there must be some magic in these winter tires so I'm just gonna like go for it and sure enough like I basically drove over I gotta say it was like five or six inches of snow to get out of my, my parking lot 
I had no problem getting out of the parking lot. So, yeah, that was that was fun. Anyway, yeah. So, I think I made this video too long and people won't even want to click it. But, oh well. Um, I'll, I'll just do the, the uh, chapters in the video description so you guys can just watch what you need to watch. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, my friends.